<laughs> Most people running for a political office drive around in a big fancy Greyhound campaign bus with a giant picture of themselves painted on the side and looking like a fancy hotel on the inside. But not Michael Williams, a Republican running for governor of Georgia. His campaign bus is a little bit different. Hi, I'm Michael Williams, and boy, do we have some exciting news to you. We have our bus tour ready to go, but it's not gonna be one of those pansy political bus tours. We've got the deportation bus. That's right, you heard me, the Michael Williams deportation bus. If you wanna find out where we're coming, go to deportationbus.com. We're gonna implement my 287G deportation plan that's gonna fill this bus with illegals to send them back to where they came from. We're not just gonna track them and watch them roam around our state. We're gonna put them on this bus and send them home. Go to deportationbus.com and find out where we're gonna be. See you there. <laughs> Look at this thing. This is great. If you're as tired as I am with politicians that do nothing but talk, and you want to see this bus filled with illegals? Vote Michael Williams on May 22nd. <laughs> May 22nd is the primary there in Georgia, and while Michael Williams isn't the Republican frontrunner, I do wish him the best. In all seriousness, though, it's absolutely critical that every single one of us vote in the midterm elections coming up in November. I know that might seem like a long time, it's in six months, but time flies, and I just wanted to plant the seed because not only are there 33 Senate seats up for grabs, but all 435 House of Representatives seats are also up for grabs. And if we lose the House, if the Democrats get the majority, then absolutely no legislation from President Trump has any chance of getting passed. And the swamp is so despicable, they may even vote to impeach him. Who really knows? And as the midterms approach, we're going to see a lot more censorship on social media because the tech giants are absolutely furious that we're able to bypass the mainstream media mockingbird gatekeepers and share our own information and debunk them on a consistent basis. We just saw Twitter yesterday announce, admit rather, that they are shadow banning people, but it's just in the name of stopping bullies and abuse. Here's BuzzFeed celebrating. Twitter is going to limit the visibility of tweets from people behaving badly. Act like a jerk. And Twitter will start limiting how often your tweets show up. You're crazy. Shadow banning conservative that's just a conspiracy theory. On Tuesday, Twitter announced a massive change in the way its conversations will work, evaluating not just the content of individual tweets, but the way users behave more broadly on the service. Twitter will now use thousands of behavioral signals when filtering search, replies, and algorithmic recommendations. If it believes you're trying to game its system or simply acting like a jerk, it'll push your tweets lower down. Let me just translate that. It will shadow ban your tweets. It'll make it so that just nobody sees them. Among the signals Twitter will use, whether you tweet at large numbers of accounts you don't follow, how often you're blocked by people you interact with, whether you've created multiple accounts from a single IP address, and whether your account is closely related to others that have violated its terms of service. Oh, if it's just similar to others who have violated the terms. CEO Jack Dorsey said, a lot of our past actions have been content-based, and we've been shifting more and more towards conduct and behaviors on the system. So basically they're admitting to shadow banning or more accurately shadow throttling people's tweets. Kind of like what Facebook's been doing to conservatives, including people like President Trump. From August of last year to February of this year, President Trump's Facebook engagements have dropped almost 50% because Facebook is shadow throttling his content so people aren't seeing it, so they can't respond to it by commenting on it or clicking the like button. If you missed yesterday's video, I showed you that Hillary Clinton just admitted that more Americans basically trust YouTubers and what their friends post on Facebook than trust the mainstream media. So I appreciate all you guys who come back every day to watch my videos, but I wanna keep on going and keep on growing I want to have more viewers consistently every day than Anderson Cooper over on CNN. And I'm not doing too bad considering right now I'm getting about a quarter to a third of his overall viewership and I'm just one guy on a laptop in my kitchen 
and he's a puppet working for a billion dollar propaganda network. Thanks again everybody who supports my channel by getting my shirts and my books, or tips me through Patreon or PayPal, and I'm on Venmo and the Cash app now. You guys are the ones who keep this channel going, so appreciate your support. Check back tomorrow for a new report, and I'll see you soon.